welcome back to Plant on Planning. Here we are in my personal planner. And as you can see, it's time to get another month underway and ready. So I'm just going to get rid of this June because we already know what month it is. Um, not only because we're actually participating in the month, but there's also these cute little tabs on the side that lets you know what month is what going on. So I never feel bad about getting rid of, you know, when the, whatever the month is in the corner. So June does start on a Saturday. So that gives us a lot of range to get things going and things pretty with. And to do that, I have some washi to use. Um, so I want to put this at the top because, um, as you can see, it has like little clips where I can write things in. And I thought that would be really cute for June itself. Let's move it down a little bit so you can see. So it's going to go right up here. Um, and I want to do that because... June is the sixth month of the year, so we're halfway through. And I thought it'd be cute to just, like, write little things as the month goes by. Um, Some great things that happen during the month, some things to remember, things of that nature. Just a little bit of everything. And then, for whatever reason, I don't know, but these just really spoke to me. And they looked super cute. So I thought it'd be cute to have some pretty little hearts um, framing out my weeks and then, like I said, because June is the sixth month halfway through, I thought this washi that just has like some, oh, if I can get it off, some wild, bold things going on. So it says like, noted, hooray, uh, so great. I just wanted to get that going right in here. I thought that would be cute as well. And as you can see, it kind of lines up perfectly. Let me just dial this back for a sec. There we go. Okay. And then, you know, there's a lot of different things going on, making it pretty. I have some extra washies just in case. You know, this one actually has the days of the week. I thought it may be cute to get it rolling across the top. Well, not necessarily rolling across the top, but to cut them out and put them over it. I don't know, it might be just a little over ambitious right now. I may change my mind as the week goes on. But anyway, let's get going. So we're putting these at the top. And I'm actually gonna start it off really nice. So what I wanna do actually is I'm going to use the um, days as my guide. And then I'm actually gonna put this one right on top and then I know I'm actually I'm going to use it when I'm using this one, so I'll put this on the bottom. I know it kind of sounds like a lot going on now that I've repeated it back to myself, but I promise it'll all be worth it and it'll all be super cute. Wait, just a little too far down. Okay, there we go. Much better, much, much, much better. So to keep everything nicely lined. Um, I did have a little flap going on here, so I can cut that off later. And then what I'm going to do here is it actually works out perfectly and comes straight to the coils. I can cut that there. Just giving myself a little space, a little leeway. Bam, there we go. And then on this side... I'll see how it works out. Ah! Alright. Okay, so I'm actually crinkling up my paper. This is a little more difficult because we're starting from a point. So I'm still using the days as my guide. And I'm going straight across. And it works out perfectly once again oh gosh so i'm just gonna get out the wrinkles or the air bubbles all that good stuff and then just cut it bam perfect all right so 
But like I said, I wanted to put this across the top. Actually, it kind of gets in the way of the little clips. So when I put it down, sorry. So when I put it down, it actually covers the clips. So we're not going to do that. I mean, granted, it does look cute or whatever, like the colors, because they're all nice, bright, springy, summery colors. But yet and still, I'm not going to use it at the top. There'll be space for it when we do on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the numbers for, those are maize, and then I'm going to get rid of these lines. And I just want to keep it as clean as possible so nothing shows through. The little added extra effort definitely is worth it in the long run, believe me. Because there's been times where I didn't. Um, clean up these lines when I was putting um, washi down and you could actually see through it and it was kind of like Ur. so I'm taking it all the way to the top of the line and I'm lining it up with this because what I'll do is I'll use my scissor to cut it Bam. smoothing it out for any air bubbles And unfortunately, that great, eh, great will be fine. Bam. We'll still know what it is. I'm so great. Alrighty. And like I said, there was no love lost in using this one at the top because I knew I was going to use it down here. So here we go. bam and there it goes right there so it cleans that up makes it look really cute and pretty and then when it comes to these two days we're just going to put some stickers there we're not going to keep on going all the way through um even though we could actually let's see i know i originally had the thought not to but yeah, you see it's too big. So, we're not going to do it. Or actually, we can do... Oh, we can do it. Okay, 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 okay. See? This is what I love about planners. You always can change your mind. Even in the midst of doing it. So, I'm going to get rid of these. And then just get rid of these lines. Bam. And then we're going to bring it all the way across. All right, now I do have to focus and pay attention because there's no room for error. All righty. Darn it. I had it and it slipped out of my hand. Okay. There we go. All right, so everything is nice and smooth. And what I'm going to use is this line here that's going to let me know when that new box starts. And then we cut. Bam. Love it. Love it. All right, and then we're just going to put a little bit of this on the bottom. Just like that. Ha ha. Cut that as well. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, like I was telling you, for this side, I'm going to have to use my scissor to clean up that line. So what I'll do is I'm going to use my card to guide my scissor. So this way there's no like janky lines. Bam. And then, hey, it's supposed to easily peel. Okay, what happened? 
Why didn't I cut ever so gracefully? Oh yeah, no janky lines. I was gonna look ridiculously janky today. Right, and I cut it. 